Welcome to ESR Technologies Understanding Major Accident Hazard Series, which covers hazard identification, scenario definition, consequence assessment, and frequency determination. In this video, we'll be looking at what a major accident hazard is, and a number of examples that could have been prevented by better understanding of major accident hazards, along with the way regulations changed as a result. Virtually every industry operation involving power, machinery or chemicals is potentially hazardous. With workplace accidents like tripping, falling, electrical shocks being commonplace events. A hazard is any source of potential damage or harm to people, property, the environment or even reputation. It's often forgotten reputation is a valuable asset. A hazard may arise from the physical properties of a material, such as flammability, toxicity or reactivity, the conditions under which it is stored, such as high pressure or temperature, or from misuse or maloperation of equipment. If major hazards cannot be eliminated by using inherently safe processes, then if they are not adequately controlled or sufficient prevention measures put in place, major accidents will occur. The following case studies illustrate why understanding major accident hazards is important. The explosion at the NIPRO works at Flixborough in the UK followed the failure to identify the hazards associated with a modification which bypassed one of the series of reactors. This resulted in the largest peacetime explosion in the UK, killing 28 people and injuring 36. Following the resulting investigation, a number of operators developed formal hazard identification processes, which became the basis of the checklist and analytical methods in common use today. This event also led to two Acts of Parliament, which imposed general duties on employers towards employees and the public to ensure that they are protected from the risks arising from operators' activities and a requirement to systematically approach the management of health and safety based on risk assessment. The incident at the Igmaser works at Cerveso followed an interruption to production, a loss of cooling and a runaway reaction. This resulted in a bursting disc relieving pressure to atmosphere releasing an estimated 30 kilograms of dioxin to the environment. Failure to recognise this scenario as a major accident hazard and take appropriate preventative measures led to injuries to 447 people and a major environmental impact, the aftermath of which is still being dealt with today. The Cerveso Directive aimed to harmonise the EU member states' legislation on major accident hazards raising standards in many European regions. The latest directive is implemented in the UK as the control of major accident hazard regulations. In 1988, there was a leak of about 30 kilograms of condensate on the Piper Alpha platform, which was ignited, causing an explosion which ruptured oil lines. This in itself was a major accident, but subsequent escalation from the initial fires resulted in three further explosions as risers failed and a total of 167 people losing their lives. Following the inquiry into the accident, regulations were introduced in the UK which required all offshore installations to demonstrate that risks have been evaluated and measures have been or will be taken to reduce the risks. With new accidents, regulations evolve in an attempt to prevent recurrence, and following the Macondo incident, UK regulations were amended to explicitly include consideration of risks to the environment. Risk assessment alone will not prevent accidents, but better understanding the major accident hazards may allow us to reduce risks to as low as reasonably practicable. 
ESR technology has been developing training programs for over 20 years to increase the understanding of major accident hazards and the risks they create. All of our training is delivered by experts based on their operational and regulatory experience of risk assessment and risk reduction. We are able to offer first-hand experience of state-of-the-art tools and techniques at a level to meet your training requirements. Training is available as full courses or individual training modules, modular live webinars or on-demand tutorials. Please visit our website to view the hazard identification, scenario definition, consequence assessment and frequency determination videos in this Understanding Major Accident series. Or contact Terry Atkinson via email at esrtechnology.com for further information.